Yo, what's up guys? So let's do an example here where we have to find the domain and range from either a table of values or a list of coordinates. So what I personally like to do with these types of questions is take the coordinates and then plot them on a graph. It takes a little bit more time initially, but it helps me to see everything. And now it's easy to find out from the graph what's our domain range and whether or not it's a function. So for the domain, what we would do is list out the set of values that the independent variable can take, so the x values. And we list them out from lowest to highest, and if any values repeat, we just write them once. So the zero comes first, this point here, these are already in order for us, so it's just zero, one, two, three, four, five. And there are no values repeating, so we wrote all of them once. Now, what about the range? The range is not in order, but it's easy to look at our graph and then see what the order of the y values are. That's the range, the set of values that the dependent variable can take. So the first one would be two. Next one would be three that occurs twice here and here. So we just write it once. Uh, next is five. Then comes 7, and then comes 10. So that's our range there, from lowest to highest, and then the 3 we only wrote once. And is this a function or not? Well, we can just apply the vertical line test on the graph and see if there's any point where we hit two points on the graph, where the vertical line hits two points on the graph, and it doesn't. So it passes the vertical line test so it is a function. And you should also be able to tell from the table of values whether it's a function or not, even without the graph. If it's a function, remember that there's only one y value for every x value. And if you notice, there are no x values repeating. So there's one y value for every x value, therefore it is a function. Moving on to part B, we have this list of coordinates and we have to find the domain and range and whether it's a function or not. Whenever I get a list of coordinates, many times they're sort of like out of order. So I like to put them in order in terms of the x values. So notice here how the x values were all over the place, 0, 5, 4, 2, 3, 2. So I took the list of coordinates and put them in order in terms of the x values. So now the x values are in order. And that's just because it helps me see it better, helps me graph it better, etc., etc. So now I could take these points, plot them on a graph. So 0 and 1 is here, 2 and 0 is here, 2 and 3 is here, 3 and 3 is up here, 4 and 0 is down here, and then 5 and 3 is up here. And now from the graph, it's easy to find out what the domain and range is. It's also easy to find out from the list of points, but either way works. So the domain, it's the set of values that the independent variable can take, or what are all the x values. So we just go along the x-axis. So this, this here represents an x value of 0. These two represent a value of 2, 3, 4, and 5. Notice how they're in order. And notice how for any points that appear twice, so like this 2 and 0 and this 2 and 3, I only wrote the x value of 2 once. Same thing for the range, now we're just going up the y-axis because range deals with the set of dependent variables. So the y values are 0, 1, and 3. And notice how there are multiple points for the y value of 0 and the y value of 3, but I only wrote them out once. Now is this relation a function or not? We can apply the vertical line test. So running a vertical line through it, Right there it fails because the vertical line is touching two points at the same time. So because it fails at just one point at an x value of 2, we know that it's not a function. And you can also tell from the list of coordinates. This 2 and 0 and this 2 and 3 here, there are multiple y values for that same x value of 2 multiple y values, a y value of 0 and a y value of 3 for that x value of 2, so it's not a function. Moving on to part C, so I took this table of values and plotted the points, 
So this is how the graph would look like. And now we can figure out the domain and range and whether or not this relation is a function or not. So following the same process, the domain of this relation is here, negative three, negative two, one, three, and four. I just listed out all of the x values and any x values that repeated, so like this negative three here and this three, I only wrote out once. And same thing for the range, however, it's for the y values. So the y values in this relation can be zero, one, two, four, and five from lowest to highest. And any y values that repeat twice, so like this zero and zero or this four and four, I only wrote out once. Now to test whether it's a function or not, let's apply the vertical line test. So running a vertical line through the graph, it fails right away at an x value of negative three. There are multiple points touching the vertical line. So we know that it's not a function. And if you didn't graph it and you just looked at your table of values, if it was in order, Notice how there are multiple points that it fails at. So there are multiple y values for negative three, four and zero, and there are multiple y values for positive three, four and zero again. And finally, moving on to part D, I erase everything else before just to give myself more room. So we had a list of coordinates, took the coordinates and I wrote them out here, but I wrote them out from lowest value to highest value in terms of the x coordinates. And then I took these coordinates, plotted them, and now we can figure out what the domain and range is and whether or not it's a function. So let's start off with the domain. So let's, uh, let's look at the graph without looking at the coordinates to figure out what the domain is. So we would go from left to right right, from lowest x value to highest x value. So the first one that comes up is this negative two here, and then negative one. There's an x value of zero here, an x value of one, x value of two, and then finally an x value of three. And there's none that repeat twice, so that is our domain right there. And now let's do the range. So same thing, let's do it from the graph. So we would start at the bottom y values and move up. So the first y values that come up are these two negative threes. So we would only write negative three once. Next is this negative one, a y value of negative one, a y value of zero, and then finally a y value of two for these two points. So that ends up being our range right there. Is this a function or not? Let's run a vertical line test through it. And there is no point on this relation where it touches the vertical line twice. So it passes the vertical line test. So it is a function.